going to attempt to go over some of the highlights of this project here. We'll start with the Kashra. Uh, the Fuchi Kashra and Manuki were made by Josiah Boomershine and they are done in solid silver, standard Higo style pattern here uh, in a cat scratch or rough texture. The Ito is Tsunami Letter, Tsunami Ito from Fred Lohman over a full wrap of large nodule Samegawa which has been lacquered and then cleaned to emphasize the, the size and quality of the skin. Uh, the overall shape is very comfortable. The Suba is made by Rick Barrett. It's from a, uh, a folded Orishigane, Omishigane, I, I always pronounce it wrong, but a folded steel that has been etched and patterned and whatever Rick does with his awesome skills to make uh, the Suba look like this, and it really shows the pattern well. There's also a silver Mitsudome cut in uh, to the Suba. If you've seen some of my other videos and projects, you know I have a thing for those swirly Mitsudomes. Uh, habaki fits uh, really well. It's a custom-made habaki, solid silver habaki and seppa custom-made for this particular blade. Uh, fit on very well, fit in the saya very well. It, uh, the saya holds the blade holds the blade very well as you'd expect it to for a, a new a new project like this. The saya is a bokin or boat oar style shape. Kind of unique, you don't see it very often, but it was almost required for for the koshisori and then kind of straight uh, uh, straightening towards the towards the end of the blade. The pivot point on the blade uh, needed a little bit more room towards the back and this was the, the best solution and I think it came out really well actually. I'm very pleased with it. It also has eight silver grooves in it. Uh, it gives the blade a, a little bit of a little bit of additional class and texture and I think it prevents your eye from being drawn to the Fuchikashira Murnuki uh, or any one particular thing on the blade. The blade is an L6 uh, Katana from Howard Clark, 29.5 inches, a really nice length. It's very light, very lively, very comfortable in the hand. The Koshisori, uh, I'm not sure exactly how that changes the balance specifically, but this blade does feel very maneuverable. L6 is known for being light and resilient, and Howard's work has a, has a pretty nice reputation to it. In this, uh, this blade, you wouldn't expect anything else. The blade was polished by Chris Osborne. Um, I had to travel pretty far to get this blade in my car some time ago, and I sent it off to Chris <laughs> a while back. And the project is taking taking a few years to to uh, to get to the state that it's in now. So as sorry as I am to to sell the blade, it's been a pleasure having it while I have, and uh, it's going to find a happy home. It's a really amazing piece. And thank you for watching the video and your interest. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I hope you have a wonderful day.